what's up youtube welcome to another tutorial so on this tutorial i'll be breaking down a loop i made um it's kind of um an ethnic guitar sample you know something probably for Southside, pyrex all those type of producers so without much talking let's just dive right into it so first of all i'm going to play the loop and then we'll get into the breakdown all right so let's go shots but let me just um, take off all the effects and then we're going to the breakdown it's pretty short but then it's far so um let me start with the with the guitar that's the first thing I did so the guitar is from contact is the Django Gypsy guitar that's like one of my favorite guitar banks in, in, in contact so yeah I, I started with these notes pretty simple note first of all i just started with this bounce let me just um mute everything and then i'll show you how how i started it um so normally when i'm making this type of guitar uh, melodies i have like a simple formula i go i go with so i started with this basic melody You get it like if you if you have watched my previous tutorial um you notice i use the same formula like the same method i start with a basic bounce you know, and then i move to like a bass note and then since um all the notes are playing the same like here the melody is literally the same i try to change my bass notes you see like yeah so that it has some variation so we add our bass notes um Then the next thing I do is I add my flicks, you know, just to spice the whole loop up. I just add my flicks, this stuffs. let's get, let's go to the effect so the first thing i added was um a wolf compressor yeah with a bit of compression and low fi the low fi what, what it does is it, um, it kind of makes um yeah like the meaning like sounds low fi it takes a bit of the highs and makes it sound like low fi like yeah and then i added a bit of reverb the footy reverb and then i added eq took out the lows i added delay but just a small amount of it and then the last thing i added was an rc20 because you know if i'm making this type of vintage stuff you need rc20 um a little bit of noise probably didn't even use like a bit of the wobble and a bit of distortion because i've already compressed it you know the distortion in the rc20 is just like a compression it, it literally makes the the loop loud yeah kind of so i've already i had already compressed it in the with the, with the uh, wolf compressor so i didn't want to boost it much in the rc20 so that's with the effect it sounds like the 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 difference is is kind of subtle but when when we are making um this type of loops like especially when it comes to guitar you don't have to use crazy effects on it because you need the sound of the guitar the next thing I added was the bass the bass and the bass is from expand so I played this bass yeah so once again to add variation I didn't necessarily follow the root notes because 
um, from the melody I played, you could see the root note was kind of um, one note, just one note. I think it was the G. Yeah, so I just had to add some variations to the notes. But I, I made sure the notes I used were in key, and they weren't off key. Um, did a bit, I don't know how this is called, like some flex, probably let me, or row, anyhow you want to call it. And then um, made some short notes. You know, this is like a long note, a short note. Yeah, they are all not like elongated. Some are long, some are short, some are yes. All these stu stuff add to the bounce of the of the of the loop. So after my bass, I went to a piano, also from Contact, um, and then I played this. Sorry. So on the bass, let me just show what I have on the bass. I have nothing on the bass. I have nothing on the bass. I just lowered it, and then um, now my piano. Yeah. So I play this. Like just to fill in the spaces of where the guitar didn't play, just to add like kind of some ambience, some some feel to the to the to the guitar. So on the piano um so on the piano i added a reverb yes and then i added um, a stereo shaper to um widen the sound and then i added an rc20 yes so the the last thing i added was was this flute you know when you're making these samples you always like it's like a must I, okay i'm not saying it's a must but then you can you can never go wrong with the flutes in this kind of samples like they are like the source like the flutes and then my 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 best flutes um, plugin or preset bank as of now is 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 the Juba flute yeah like it's the best right now I don't know if there's any probably you could you could you could tell me in the in the comments but for now this is like my best um, flutes plugin so with the flutes I just played. Um, you know this note and then on the flute some EQ you know took out some frequencies boosted some frequencies and then the wolf compressor yeah yeah the wolf compressor so yeah A bit of compression and then I didn't add any low fat to this and then any anything it's just the compression so after that um, I added this um, texture I always love to add textures to my to my lips so this one sounds like this it's like um, I don't know, it's like filtered, it's, it's a filtered drum or something, like filtered drums, yeah, then I have it very low, um, the volume is very, very low, okay, yeah, so that was it, that was it, I timed it, so yeah, I added that to it, just to add to the, to the whole feel, you get it, so with everything, um, everything I rendered it and then I had this so um, I pitched it down one semitone and then that was it I I think on the master channel let me see if I have yes so on the master channel I have um, an RC20 so after after uh, rendering it this were the final effects I put on it I, I added um, the RC20 the distortion a little bit of noise and uh, wobble and then some space and then I added a G37. Yes, it's it's a, t a tape emulation plugin. I added it, but then I turned down the volume because um, I didn't want too much of it. And then I added the Isotope vinyl. I just put it on the 1980 preset. And then I always do that for my loops. And then a bit of um, the warp depth again. And that was all. That was all. That was all. I just the the pitch down 
down a semitone yeah so i'll play the loop again and then um we'll see how it sounds again